Welcome to the Shonequip How-To video series featuring the Sully Active. We'll be looking at all the important features of the device, how adjustments can be made for appropriate fitting, and the necessary tools required for the job. The Sully Active Kids Chair is a specially designed, rugged posture support wheelchair. It is ideal for young children from the age of 18 months and older, with basic to intermediate postural support needs. It is highly maneuverable and yet stable, allowing users with various levels of mobility to safely access more demanding terrain. Before making any adjustments to the seat, always consult a professional trained in seating for help. Be sure to check that the device was correctly specified for the user's measurements and needs. To set up the seat depth, you should first take a measurement of the user's thigh length. The cushion should then be cut to length and an appropriate shelf added. To adjust the seat panel on the device, you will need to loosen two small hand knobs located under the seat. It is easiest to access from the rear of the seat. Using a tape measure to check the depth, slide the loose seat panel to the desired position and tighten the two hand knobs underneath the seat again. Note that the footrest position changes automatically with the seat depth. When placing the user back in the seat onto the cushion, always make sure that there is at least two fingers of space between the cushion and their calf. Once all the adjustments have been set, the cover can be put back on. Adjusting the pelvic strap of the Sully Active is a simple process. The user will need to be out of the wheelchair to do this. Before proceeding, always make sure you complete the rest of the seating adjustments before setting the pelvic strap. To adjust the pelvic strap, first estimate the strap length required with the user still in the seat. After removing the user, the seat cushion should also be taken out. You will find two plastic buckles located on either side of the seat panel that can be adjusted. Adjust them by pulling the strap through the plastic clip that is situated at the end of the strap. Make the necessary adjustment and replace the seat cushion. Now place the user back in the seat making sure that their pelvis is all the way to the back before fastening the pelvic strap. Always leave enough space for a hand to comfortably fit between the strap and the user. Make sure to center the pelvic strap padding over the user's stomach. Always consult a professional trained in seating before selecting a back system. And be sure to check the back system suits the user's measurements and needs. There are several adjustments that can be made to the test back system. You will require a 10mm spanner and 5mm allen key, which you will find in the back pocket of the cover. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the help of another person. To access the adjustment bolts, first remove the cover completely. Slightly undo each nut located on the rear of the back system. First start by establishing the height of the backrest by undoing the bolts located on either side of the back system. These secure the clamps to the push handle. The back can now be shifted up or down to provide appropriate support for the user. Tighten the bolts again once this position has been set. With the assistance of someone offering support from the front, the trunk side supports can be adjusted into place on either side of the user's chest. Tighten these bolts when the appropriate support has been set. The tilt angle of the test back can also be adjusted by undoing four small bolts located at the rear of the back on the slotted brackets. Once all the adjustments have been set, the cover can be put back on. To adjust the back to seat angle on the Sully Active, you will require a 13mm spanner and 5mm Allen key. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. The back to seat angle can be adjusted up to 20 degrees by undoing a set of bolts and nuts located on either side at the bottom of the push handle. Take care to support the user while making these adjustments. Once these have been removed on both sides, the push handle will be loose. Recline the push handle to the desired angle and tighten the nuts up again to secure the position. To adjust the footrest of the Sully Active, you will require a 4mm Allen key. 
This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. The footrest can be loosened by undoing two button head bolts located on either side, just above the footrest. With the user seated comfortably on the cushion, slide the footrest up to meet the user's feet. When selecting the appropriate height to set the footrest, always make sure the user's full thigh is supported from the back to the front of the cushion and that there are no gaps between the feet and the surface of the footrest. Once the user is sitting comfortably, the two nuts can be tightened again. To adjust the lap tray of the Sully Active, you will require a 4mm Allen key. There are two aspects to the lap tray that can be adjusted to better fit the user. These are the height and depth of the tray. The lap tray is attached by sliding the frame in below the seat and into a centrally located bracket with a hand knob. The hand knob enables the tray to be secured in place. Always make sure when attaching the lap tray that there is space between the user and the edge of the lap tray. If the lap tray doesn't reach the user when it is attached, then the depth will need to be adjusted. To adjust the depth, undo four button head bolts located under the lap tray and shift the bracket to the next position. Attach the lap tray again and check with the user. To adjust the height, the lap tray should be in place and the user comfortably seated. Undo the small grub screw located on the upright of the lap tray frame between the user's legs. The ideal lap tray height allows the user to sit with their arms and shoulders in a neutral position. To adjust the headrest of the Sully Active, you will require a 10mm spanner and a 4mm Allen key. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. There are three bolts that can be loosened to adjust the headrest. The top bolt will adjust the angle of the headrest. The middle and bottom bolts on the extension will adjust the height and depth of the headrest. Loosen the nuts and bolts slightly. With the user seated comfortably, their head in a neutral upright position and their eyes facing forward, bring the headrest to the back of the user's head to provide support. Make sure to check that there is no pressure on the user's ears or any bony features. Tighten the bolts once the desired position is set. Tilt in space is an important feature of a posture support chair. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. To adjust the tilt of the Sully Active, locate the hand knob beneath the seat just behind the footrest hanger and remove it. Take care and support the user while removing the hand knob. The seat can now be tilted backwards or forwards. Once the desired position is set, insert and tighten the hand knob again. To adjust the height of the seat on the Sully Active, you will require a 13mm spanner and 5mm Allen key. The seat can be adjusted in two height positions. First, remove the rear wheel. Loosen and remove the two bolts located on either side of the base frame, just above the axle. Select the desired height and tighten the nuts and bolts again. Note that the tilt in space will need to be adjusted again. To adjust the center of gravity of the seat on the Sully Active, you will require a 10mm spanner and 4mm Allen key. The seat can be adjusted in three positions. This can be from safe in the rear setting to very active in the front setting. To make the adjustment, first remove the rear wheel. Loosen and remove the two sets of nuts and bolts located on either side of the seat, just above the axle. The seat can now be moved to the desired position. Tighten the nuts and bolts again. Note that the tilt in space and brake position will both need to be adjusted again. The Sully Active can be taken apart for transportation or storage by following these simple steps. First, apply both brakes to stabilize the chair. Then, fold the anti-tipper wheel up by pulling it out, rotating, and letting the spring draw it back. 
Remove the lap tray by undoing the hand knob located underneath the seat. Now the seat cushion and backrest can be removed and put aside. Next, fold the push handle flat by pulling on the red lanyard. Now release the brakes. And finally, remove each rear wheel by depressing the button located in the center of the wheel hub and pulling the wheel out. Remember, reassembling the Sully is the reverse of taking it apart. We hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please get in touch with us. We're always looking for new ways to improve what we do.